Hello friends. Welcome to next lecture in kinematics of machines. So in this video lecture we shall see the expression to determine the minimum number of teeth on pinion and gear to avoid interference. So friends to know what are the steps involved in the derivation of this expression please stay tuned with this video lecture. Before we begin with this lecture I request you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not yet subscribed click the bell icon for the latest notification of the videos on this youtube channel follow us on twitter instagram and facebook the links are in the description below so friends let's begin with the video lecture we have already discussed in the previous lecture that in order to avoid interference the addendum circles of the two mating gears that is the pinion and the gear must cut the common tangent on the base circles between the points of tangency. So the limiting condition that reaches when the addendum circles of the pinion and the wheel they pass through points n and m respectively. So you can refer to the video lecture on this which will appear on the top right corner as the YouTube I card. So now let's begin with this derivation. Let small t be the number of teeth on the pinion. Let capital T be the number of teeth on the wheel. Let M be the module of the teeth and R be the pitch circle radius of the pinion. So that is M T by 2 and g be the gear ratio that is number of teeth on the gear to that of the number of teeth on the pinion that is capital T by T or that you can take it as R by R that is the radius of the gear to that of the radius of the pinion. Then phi be the pressure angle or the angle of obliquity that is this is the phi located for the gear and the pinion. So here we have the pinion and here we have the gear. Gear is also denoted as wheel so in this lecture we will also make use of the word wheel for that of the gear. Now we have two triangles formed over here. One is O1 Pn and second one is O2 Pm. So now we will take this triangle that is O1 Pn or O1 Np that is this particular triangle which you can see over here. So to this triangle we apply the Alkashi's rule of cosines. So here we get this O1 n square that is this distance square can be written as O1 P square plus P n square that is O1 P square plus P n square minus 2 times the O1 P distance into P n cos of O1 P n. Okay. So this is the Alkashi's rule of cosines. So substitute for these values that is O1 P it is R square then P n is R square sin square phi minus 2 R into capital R sin phi into cos of 90 plus phi. Since Pn is O2 P sin phi, we can write it as, as R phi. So here we have written this as R phi. So upon simplifying this, we get this term that is small r square plus capital R square sin square phi plus 2 R into capital R sin square phi. So this is equal to small r square into 1 plus r square sin square phi upon r square plus 2 times r sin square phi upon r. So this will be equal to r square into 1 plus capital R by r into capital R by r plus 2 into sin square phi. That is r upon r sin square phi is taken common. So this is r upon r into sin square phi and what remains in the bracket will be this one r and the second r that is capital R by r plus this coefficient 2 remains inside the bracket. So this is the expression we get. Now here we will take the limiting radius of the pinion addendum circle that is O1n is given as root of this expression that is 1 plus r by r into r plus 2 into sin square phi. So this can be written as m1 by 2 that is this r I write in terms of m1 and number of teeth that is m1 by 2 into root of 1 plus t by t in the bracket t by t plus 2 sin square phi. Now we shall take the addendum of this pinion and we denote it as APM that is A suffix PM which means the <coughs> addendum of the pinion. So here 
let addendum APM be the addendum of the pinion where AP is fraction by which the standard addendum of one module of the pinion should be multiplied in order to avoid interference. So we know that the addendum of the pinion is nothing but O1N that is we have here O1N minus O1P that is this distance. So this small part will be the addendum. You can focus on my mouse pointer here that is O1N minus O1P. So this small distance over here what you can see is the addendum of this pinion. So here we write this as A1M. So we write this expression. So A1M will be equal to M1 by 2 into root of 1 plus this expression which we have derived just now. So we substitute it over here. So since O1P is equal to small r that is Mt1 upon 2. So we write that equation for O1P over here and this expression is obtained. So this is simplified and this M is then brought to the denominator. So this M and the denominator M cancel. So what remains is only T by 2. So here we get this AP or the addendum of the pinion will come as this equation. Therefore, we can write this T will be equal to this particular equation that is 2 times the addendum of pinion upon root of 1 plus capital T by T into capital T by T plus 2 into sine square phi minus 1. And this number of teeth over here that is T by T is nothing but the gear ratio. So we write this capital T by T as G and over here also we substitute this as G and this is the expression. So here small t denotes the minimum number of teeth on the pinion and that is given by this equation 2 times the addendum of the pinion upon root of 1 plus gear ratio times plus gear ratio plus 2 sine square phi minus 1 where phi is the pressure angle of the pinion. So here we have the a table which forms for the system of gear teeth what is the minimum number of teeth on the pinion is required. So here when the first system is 14 and half inch composite gear teeth we have then the minimum number of teeth on the pinion should be 12. If we have 14 and half degrees full depth involute teeth then the minimum number of teeth should be 32. If we have 20 degrees full depth involute, it should be 18 and when we have 20 degrees sub involute, it should be 14. So you can remember this as there will be examples with these words and you should know what will be the minimum number of teeth on the pinion for these particular system of gear teeth. So this is about the number of teeth on the pinion. Now let us move to the minimum number of teeth on the wheel or on the gear in order to avoid the interference. So again here we take these expressions that is let T be the minimum number of teeth required on the wheel in order to avoid interference and AW over here that is addendum of wheel into M be the addendum of the wheel where AW is the fraction by which the standard addendum of the wheel should be multiplied. So here again we take this same figure of the two circles. Now we will focus on the pinion. So using the same notations as in we have used in the previous for the pinion, we write here O2M square. Now that is this particular distance. So here we take the triangle O2MP. So from this particular triangle, again, we apply the Alkashi's rule of cosines. That is O2M square will be equal to O2P square plus PM. That is O2P square plus PM square minus 2 times O2P into PM cos O2PM. So this is the Alkashi's rule of cosines. So here we substitute these notations that is O2P is the R square that is the radius over here of the pinion capital R denoted in this case. So this we get as the expression. So the procedure is again same as what we have discussed for that of the gear. So we simplify this and we get this O2M that is this particular distance or the addendum radius we can call as this particular value. Now we apply the limiting radius of the addendum circle for the pinion that is O2M will be R into root of that is the same equation what we had O2M square we apply root to it 
and we get this as in terms of the module that is m into t by 2 into root of 1 plus small t by t here and this will be small t by t plus 2 into sine square 5. Now for the opinion we have the addendum as the addendum circle radius minus the pitch circle that is we have O2 m minus O2p that is this particular distance over here will be the addendum circle of the pinion. Clear? So now we take that expression that is O2m minus O2p and we have denoted this as AWM as the addendum of the pinion. So this is AW into the module. So that is m into t by 2. So whatever we have here the expression the same thing is substituted and minus O2p is nothing but mt by 2. So here we simplify this O2p will be equal to r into m t by 2. So here this should be actually small m. It has been misprinted as capital M. So it should be small m here. So you can just make this correction. So here what we do is we take this m to the denominator, cancel this m from this equation and ultimately we get this as aw is equal to t by 2 and this expression where this t will be the minimum number of teeth required. So you just take all these terms to the other side. So capital T will be equal to 2 times aw by root of 1 plus small t by capital T into 1 uh, into small t by capital T plus 2 sine square 5 minus 1. And this becomes the inverse gear ratio that is 1 by g. So you substitute here this as 1 by g and this expression what we get is the expression for minimum number of teeth on the wheel to avoid the interference. So friends that's all for today in this video lecture that is the expression for the minimum number of teeth on the gear that is the wheel and on the pinion in order to avoid the interference. So if you have liked this video or the explanation please like this video by clicking the like button click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay connected with us follow us on twitter instagram and facebook the links are in the description below so that's all friends thank you very much see you next time in the next video lecture